Coach Man, the landlord of One Chance, One Life TV. Cam Kitchens had his name put up in the Raptors at the University of Miami after making the All-American team. What's it like watching him at the collegiate level? Oh, it was great. So uh, I'll tell you a story about Cam Kitchens. When I was working with Generation X, Cam Kitchens was playing for Northwest Falcons. It was a Division II um, program. For some reason at that time, people think just because you play Division II, you're not good. Um, so Cam was, a, when we did our Generation X team, myself, Darian, and um, Josh, we basically put, put together like an all-star Florida team. And he was a kid, I used to vouch. I said, hey, I seen this kid, he can play. Unfortunately, he didn't make it. So I remember taking a picture with him, telling him, I said, listen, man, from this day forward, I'm, I'm gonna feature you heavy and you're gonna show them that they was wrong. So um, he went out to the Florida Fire. Before he went out there, I told the coach, I said, listen, I got vouch for this kid. This kid can play. He ended up making Florida Fire and he ended up leading the, um, the team in interceptions as a ninth grader. I mean, well, before the ninth grade year, and then he ended up going to Miami Northwestern and leading the team in interceptions, becoming a four star now here at University of Miami. So, uh, I always joke about him. Like, he knew from way back then that I believed in him. And seeing, you know, seeing the person he become now, um, I'm basically proud of him. So I guess you can say, hey, we both showed him wrong. I told him. <laughs> I told him he was good. Yeah. Cam is the first player to receive that award while still playing at the University of Miami. So that adds on to the specialness of his achievement, you think? Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, the kid was always a baller, man. I don't know what it was, but... At Northwest, all he did was make plays. I just don't understand why, why he didn't make the All-American game, which, I mean, that's, that's past sense now. But he's a kid that, you know, you can't coach having an eye for the ball. Like, you can put kids at free safety, but, you know, Ed Reed is, like, he has that Ed Reed type mentality where you could put him back there and he's going to make you look like the greatest coach on earth because he, he just has it. Not every kid has it. He has it. Right.